when we are looking for the angle, okay? Not the sides, because it won't, it won't happen when you're looking for the sides. But if you're looking for the angle, it will give you all this crazy stuff with this. And we're going to learn what that means later, but not right now, okay? Um, the best thing to do is just to end solve it, okay? So let me show you. You're just going to go at the very, very bottom of your calculator and just press in. Then go up, highlight what you did, press enter, because now you've done in solve. And what two buttons am I now going to press to get the answer? Control enter. Control enter. And it'll give you your answer. Now listen. Angles are usually in what measure? Degrees. Degrees. So, you have to change out of radius. so we have to change this out of radian. This is as difficult for now as what you have to conceptualize, okay? When you're solving for the angle, if your calculator is not changed, and I want you to learn it, I want you to be able to go back and forth between degree and radian. If you're going backwards to get the angle, you're going to have to do this step. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you, and you can look at this video later if you need to. Home, 5, 2, and you're going to change that angle to degree. But then go and click up until you go all the way to where it says make it your default and then press OK. If you don't make it your default, it won't, it won't stay in degree mode, okay? And if I wanted to change it back, you just press 5, 2, and then change it back to gradient. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have to do this throughout this semester going back and forth. Let's press 4 to go to back to our current document. Now look, I'm going to go up and copy the exact same thing that I had from before. The only difference now is it's in degree mode. So when I press control enter, this is why I recorded this video, that is my answer. Okay? So if I rounded this the way that it's acceptable that I'm looking for, by default, it would look like this. The angle theta is equal to 63.612 degrees. Okay? Yes, there is another way that you can do if you left it in radian mode. I know that. You can multiply by a conversion factor that we will learn over the next couple of days. But for now, I want you to know how to do this. Is that what you were going to ask? Okay, perfect. All right. I'll put that on.